what brings you out here tonight? Um, I'm here to support the charity. Um, I know Deborah and I know a lot about the charity and I've done my little bit to try and help organize it and just be a part of it. So I'm super excited to be here. Mm -hmm. What's it like organizing an event? Because I know oh. that's so different. Well, I wouldn't profess to say that. <laughs> what I mean is I maybe sent a few emails. Oh. If you want to know what really organizing the event is like, you need to speak to her. Um, but it was a great to be a part of it and to do a little bit more than just, you know, turning up here in a pretty dress for once. So that feels really good to me. And I like, I'd like to be doing that a lot more and being involved with more charities in the future. Well, I know how you're in this pretty dress. I know a lot of different celebrity parties have a lot of themes. Do you usually take a while to plan your theme? There's a lot of planning go involved. Oh, I had no idea with this because even though they say it's 1920s, I didn't know whether it's a touch of 1920s or whether it's full on fancy dress and you don't really know particularly with LA so I didn't know what to wear and I went to a few shops and had a look and as of today at about 12 30 I still didn't know what I was going to wear can you believe that this was in my wardrobe and then I did my own hair and makeup before I came here why was this in my wardrobe <laughs> <laughs> last time you wore this um, dress? I've actually never worn it. A designer gave it to me and I've never had the opportunity to wear it. And then randomly, when I was freaking out, I thought, isn't that dress that I was given a year ago, 1920s? And it is. It's, it's got the, the back. It's perfect. It's perfect. And now I know Halloween is coming up because it's almost October. Now, do you plan your Halloween costume ahead of time or is it same last minute thing? Uh, it's sort of not such a big deal for me. In England, Halloween isn't a big event. It's only a big event really in America. So I'm kind of low key. It's, yeah, I don't really know what to, what to do about it. Normally I do nothing. And then the last minute, if I'm going to a party, I do the same as I did today. And then I start wandering through my wardrobe and then I'll go as like a, a hooker or a street walker and I'll wonder why I already had those clothes in my wardrobe as well. <laughs> kind of worrying. <laughs> so funny. And now, are you, are you working on anything right now? Um, there's a project that I'm attached to that I'm supposed to go to Austria to shoot, but I'm waiting to sign on before I can talk about it. Um, and then I think that's about it, really. And then other than that, just meeting and seeing what's coming up. Yeah, I was in India. I did a film in India. And then I did a, a Mike and Molly for CBS. So I have been busy. I have worked, <laughs> but just not now. Now I'm just in pretty dresses. I love that, but now your film in India, what kind of character do you play in that? It was a Bollywood movie, which was an amazing experience for me to have. I got to do the dancing and I got to shoot it in Mumbai in India and it was a complete thrill. And I'm, I'm half Nigerian, so I've done movies in Nigeria as well. And in Nigeria, the film industry is called Nollywood. So thanks to Twilight, I've done Hollywood. <laughs> then I did Bollywood and I've done Nollywood. I've done the triangle. <laughs> Triple threat there. I don't see Mel Streep doing Bollywood and Nollywood, technically, so you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, I know recently Miss America, the newly crowned, she is actually Indian. Yeah. How exciting is that? I think it's awesome and it's showing the future of the world that being from a particular country isn't limited to looking like what you would typically think people from that country are, look like. Yeah. And I think, I, I actually think it's the future of the world. I have a big plan that instead of sending armies over to uh, kill everybody in other countries, they should just send the armies over to have sex with everyone. And then the countries are all going to get mixed together, the babies will be mixed together and then there'll be no problems. Send them over with a bunch of condoms instead of guns. <laughs> Or no condoms, because that will just ruin the whole point. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Thing. Maybe that'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> Judy for president, <laughs> on that note. Oh my gosh, well thank you thank so you. much. Enjoy the Bye. night. Nice thank day. you.